evangelized, evangelized with a purpose. Our evangelism must be with a purpose. Christ knew that he had a mission. That mission was determined in eternity before the foundation of the world. That mission was purposeful. That mission was predicted and prophesied even before the fall of man. And after the fall, the proclamation was made that he will come and redeem humanity. He kept the mission. He kept the purpose of ministry in mind in all his activities on earth. As we evangelize, as we reach out, as we touch lives, we must keep the purpose of ministry and the mission in mind. As we do the work of God, I will run up and down and circle almost the globe. We must understand that if we lose our purpose, if we lose the mission, then the evangelism becomes meaningless. The builders of Babel had a goal. But that goal was not to achieve heaven's goal. And because of that, they were scattered. As we pursue evangelism, as we think about evangelism, as we say we're committing ourselves and we're consecrating ourselves to evangelism, it must be Christ-like evangelism. It must be purposeful evangelism. Christian leaders and Christian churches must have Christ's mind. Not just his method. The foundation of the work of God is Christ's mind. Christ's nature. Christ's purpose. Christ's thoughts. Christ's concern. Christ's self-sacrifice, Christ's willingness, Christ's pursuit to fulfill, to achieve heaven's goal. Jesus said, the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Are you inviting people to a deeper life, inviting people to the local church? Come to our church, come to our church, come to our church. I hope that's not what you went out to do, is to tell them about Christ and bring them the mission of Christ and bring them the ministry of Christ and let them see the danger of sin, the doom in sinning and then make haste to come out of their sin, repent of their sins and have the kingdom of God established in their hearts. God is holy. Man is sinful. And if man remains sinful, he cannot have fellowship with God. And the purpose of Christ and the mission of Christ and the ministry of Christ is not just to go out and bring people in, heal their body, give them food, do some miracles and then they say we're going to stay with him but they are not brought to God they are not reconciled to God they do not flee their sins they do not turn away from their sins the purpose of Christ has not been fulfilled it's to bring us to God and bring and being put to death in the flesh and quickened by the spirit our evangelism will be biblical evangelism and then we lead them further in deeper christian experiences and the lives of a pure and holy and righteous acceptable to god and to christ in jesus name Let's rise up now and talk to the Lord in prayer that God will help us, that God will help you and keep on helping everyone that will be faithful to the scriptures and preach repentance 
not just add people to the church, bring them to the church who don't have any understanding of repentance and there's no transformation in their lives. Let's preach the word faithfully so that by the grace of God, true, genuine salvation will be experienced and the grace to live in newness of life they will have. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer.